Hey guys, Oddola here. If you've watched some of my older videos, you'll know that I have a couple of Raspberry Pis, the computer, not the food. These single board computers are extremely versatile. People have used them as basic desktop computers, and heck, even as weather stations and home media servers. But one of the main uses I see people talking about is its ability to emulate retro games. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how to turn a Raspberry Pi into a retro game console. So today we are going to be using the RetroPie operating system for the Raspberry Pi. This OS contains a combination of Raspbian, Emulation Station and RetroArch, and offers a great user interface. To install this onto the Raspberry Pi, you'll need a couple of things. A Raspberry Pi, SD card, I would recommend around a minimum of 8GB, an SD card reader, a USB drive to copy over your games, a micro USB phone charger, HDMI cable, and some sort of controller, but a keyboard will work fine. To get started, you'll need to go to the RetroPie website and download the version of RetroPie for your particular Raspberry Pi. You'll also need to download 7-zip or some similar unzipping tool, Win32 disk imager from SourceForge, and SD card formatter from the sdcard.org website. Links will be below. Install these three applications as you normally would. Once the .img.gz file for RetroPie has downloaded, right click and go 7-zip extract here and wait for it to complete. Install the SD card in the reader and open SD card formatter. Select the correct SD card, you don't want to format something else, then format and wait for it to finish. Open Win32 Disk Imager and select the formatter drive letter, then click the folder icon and browse to the extracted .img file. Leave the other settings and click right. This part might take some time. Once it's done, remove the card and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. Connect power to a wall outlet, HDMI to the Pi and TV or monitor, and the controller or keyboard. The Pi will go through some booting messages before loading the controller configuration menu. Press and hold a button, then configure the controls to the buttons you want. If you want to skip a control, press and hold a button until it goes to the next one. Congrats, RetroPie is now set up. The last step is to copy the ROMs. Plug in the USB drive into a computer and create a folder called RetroPie, all lowercase. Eject the drive and plug it into the Pi. Wait a couple of minutes for the light to stop flashing and pull the drive out. Plug it back into the computer. You should then see lots of folders inside the one we created earlier. Copy the ROMs over to their respective consoles and eject the drive. Insert it back into the Pi and wait for the light to stop flashing. Pull the drive out and restart emulation station. And we're done! You can now enjoy your favourite retro games all in one place. Thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe. Goodbye for now.